Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. And I wanted to share with you some fun ideas that I have for creating some really cute bookmarks. They make a fun little gift to put in a card or just to give somebody uh, that you know does enjoy reading. So before I get started, I wanted to go ahead and ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you enjoy the video, go ahead and hit the like button and then also hit the bell and that way you will be notified when I do have new videos coming out. So uh, to get started, I'll go over my supplies real quick. I did cut up some pieces, just little pieces of scrap watercolor paper. I do like to try and keep them at least two inches wide and you can see some are a little bit shorter than others. So, uh, and then I punch holes and any um, ribbon or string that I have, I, I put in, um, you know, to add to the top of it. And then also I do have my watercolor paints, some water, clean water to, for my brushes, uh, paper towel for blotting, some different size brushes. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be using, so as I pull them out and use them, I'll, I'll let you know what size they are. And then I do also have some of my um, brush markers in different colors and I will probably be using those. And there again, I'm not sure which ones. And then also a uh, Sharpie permanent marker. And I may even use some of my finer points. Like I, I have a lot of the Micron uh, permanent markers in the different neb sizes. And because I'm really not sure exactly what I'm going to be, um, you know, the details that I'll be doing, I'm not sure which, which brushes I'll be using. So to get started, I am going to be doing a bookworm. And uh, to do that, I'm going to start off with a num. This is just a number eight round brush. And what I want to do is with my bookmark, I'm using just water because this is going to be somewhat of a wet on wet. And so I'm just kind of creating the shape of a swirly um, bookworm with the water. And let me get just a little bit more on here. I'm not sure exactly how much of that you can see, but I, I did go ahead and you know just lay down some, some water so that when I put the paint on, it will blend nicely because I do want it to be a, a, just a nice blend, not a real blunt look. So to get started with this, I am going to be using just some Hooker's Green. And uh, I'm gonna grab some of this and then I'm also going to put just a little bit of yellow in with that to kind of soften it up. Uh, if you had a sap green, that would work well also. So let me grab some of that. And I'm just going to go down through and kind of dab it into the water that I had put down. And I do want... Um, and I'm just doing it on one side of the water because I do want it to blend a little bit. And then I'm going to go through and now this is just the solid hookers green. It's going to be a different, couple different shades of green is uh, the look that I'm going for. And I'm tapping these in. I'm not just brushing them because I do want that real textured uh, look on the outside of it. So on the other side of this, I'm going to go ahead and I have some, I call it my Grinch green and really it is just the uh, hookers green and lemon yellow that I mix up uh, with predominantly yellow in it because I want a brighter look. Okay, so now I'm tapping that down this side and you can see there again, let me get some a little bit of that off of the brush. All right, and I'm just tapping it because I do want that textured look on this side as well. And we're gonna give these just a minute to blend in a little bit. We'll kinda make the end of that just a little narrower. Okay, so you can see how these are blending very nicely. And so we're gonna let those uh, just kind of sit and dry for a bit. And uh, then we'll go ahead and add a little bit more detail in, onto that. So I'm gonna set this one aside. 
And while that's drying, I'm going to grab another bookmark. Now this is one of the longer ones. And so for this one, uh, on this one we're actually going to do some flowers. And I like to, uh, there's a lot of flowers that I like to create and it, it's good practice for one thing. And they're very easy to do. There's no right or wrong. Um, and so for these, I'm just grabbing some of the, uh, a crimson color, kind of a pinkish red. And, uh, and I do apologize that I don't have my um, paints in view. There just is enough room in the, the camera lens. Okay, so this is just one of the uh, crimson reds, kind of a pinkish tone. And so for this, I have my, this is a number eight, and this is my Princeton. And it does, this brush does come to a nice fine, fine point, and that's what I like about this for uh, painting flowers. So let me get some of this off the brush. I had just a little too much water on there. And so I'm just doing uh, five petal flowers. And... I kind of like to go around and add a few little wisps. And then let me grab just a little bit more paint. And I'm just gonna kind of do, you know, back and forth, kind of a little bit of a zigzag pattern with these. And you can see I'm, I'm not real careful with my shapes because of course out in the real world, you know, flowers, the petals, they are wispy and they are not perfect. And so here I'm going to, this is going to be somewhat of a side view or angle of this flower. And so I'll only be putting, whoops, let's go like that. Uh, just three petals here and then the middle of the flower will be right there. And you'll see that, you know, as we bring this together. And I'm going to grab a little bit more paint. And here I want this to be a little bit darker. And what I'm doing is just going through, putting the, the base um, design of the petals down now. And then as they, once they dry a little bit, then we'll go through and, you know, add on to those as well. And then here I'm going to do another side or profile view. And I always like to just kind of add a few little wisps here and there. Okay, so we do want those to dry for a, a couple minutes. And while those are drying, I'm going to just grab some of my sap green. And I'm going to go in and add uh, some leaves. I'm not going to be adding stems throughout this. These are just going to be kind of like floating flowers. Okay, and we can just add a few leaves here and there. And you could do these in any color, you know, uh, if you have a, you know, a favorite color of flower that you like, go ahead and use that. I'll tell you, um, a lot of times I do paint some blue flowers, some of the, like the turquoise blue and the violets or purples because they always, you know, make for beautiful flowers also. And you can see my leaves are not perfect. I'm just kind of adding a little hint of green into this. And I'm gonna grab some of the, um, the hooker's green because I do wanna kind of mix up the tones of the green a little bit. And I sh I'll go back down through and add a little bit here and there. And it's just, you know, to do a leaf, just kind of start lightly, push down, and then let up slowly. All right. I probably could have added one more little flower down here, but that's okay. I'll add another leaf 
kind of fill it in just a little bit. And then very lightly with the edge or the tip of my brush, I, I put in little stems, you know, so that I am connecting the leaves. Um, I'm just not doing stems to the flowers all the way down through. As I mentioned, they're gonna be more of a floating flower. Just like to keep them kind of simple. So I can see that the, the uh, red is still not totally dry. So maybe while we're letting that dry another minute, I'm gonna add just another leaf or two right up here. You know, and as I mentioned, uh, bookmarks are just a nice little thing to hand to people. Like if you have a little birthday card for someone that's an avid reader and you didn't get them a gift because it was a last minute thing, throw in a bookmark, put your little signature down at the bottom of it and they'll cherish it forever. So now that these are a little bit more dry. I'm just kind of going through and just adding in a little hint of uh, green into the, the leaves themselves. Just to give it a little bit more of a texture realism. Okay, so then for the middle of these flowers, I think what I'm going to do is use just a little bit of my uh, orange. This is a cadmium orange. And a lot of times I do try to go with a much darker middle, but I want to keep this a little bit lighter. Okay, so for the middles, I'm just going in very lightly and dabbing little dots. And I'm being careful to leave some white space in between. Let me try and get my hand out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Let me grab a little bit more. And you can see that they're not a perfect circle in the middle, of course. We're just kind of, you know, adding a little bit of a texture. Okay, so that's that's really fun with the, the orange. So now that the flowers do look dry, I am going to uh, go back with my um, with my red, and this is just a little bit heavier on my brush. And I just kind of, with the very tip, I want to add in just a few little strokes from the middle of the um, petals, you know, coming outward, just to give them a little bit of um, depth and detail to the flowers themselves. just keeping it kind of light and easy a little bit more there it does give a little bit of a dimension to the flowers and I'm just barely touching the paper with the tip of this so when you're doing this part of it it is important to have uh, you know a round brush with a nice fine point tip and you can see on on some of these the orange from the middle is blending in a little bit with the this red that I'm adding on and that's fine gives it a nice look okay and then up here for our last flower Grab just a little bit more. Okay, all right, very good. Here, let me do just a little bit darker down here. And we wanted the petals to be dry before we started adding, you know, these, um, this little bit of detail in the middle so that it didn't all blend together. However, with the blending of the uh, little stamens in the middle, that's fine. That's a nice look for it. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that's pretty much complete. And uh, as I mentioned, I do take like, this is an O2 nib micron uh, permanent marker and it's in black ink. I just like to sign my name at the bottom. Then you can also put the year and 
That one is complete, so I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so for the next flower, or uh, bookmark that I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and grab, this is another longer one. I want to say some of these bookmarks are five inches long and some are six inches long. Um, and then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, they are all about two inches wide, which is a nice width for a bookmark. So for this one, I am going to grab, um, let's see here. I'm going to grab, this is a number six round. And on this one, we're just going to have two birds, two whimsical birds. And uh, I'm going to do these in a blue, which is going to be like a turquoise blue. And then also with my, uh, my green, my, um, you know, the, the green that I custom mixed. So for this, what I'm doing pretty much the same thing as far as we're going to do wet on wet because I do want these to blend a little bit. So this is just a kind of like a teardrop shape at an angle. And I have a little bit of the blue paint in there so that you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, where, I'm, where I'm putting it or so you can see it a little bit better. And then this is the same thing that I'm doing here. It's just a teardrop shape. And it's almost like this teardrop is looking down and this teardrop is looking up, which is how the birds are going to be. So now that I do have um, the two, two teardrops, I'm, I have some of my blue and I'm just dropping that in. And we kind of want that to blend blend itself around a little bit and I'm going to clean that off of my brush and go ahead and add some of my uh, green my Grinch green let me grab just a little bit more of this we'll put this on the upper side Okay, so we'll kind of let these blend a little bit. I'm going to actually help it out just a bit. Bring it around. And the same with this. Just kind of bring it around a little bit. <clears throat> and then, you know, if you get something like this and you feel like you want to lift a little bit of that paint off, just clean your brush off and then in the middle, because I do want to lift a little bit of the paint. So I just lift and then I wipe my brush and then I'm going to do the same on this one, lift and just kind of wipe it off. And so now I'm going to let those uh, dry. And you can see how quick and easy all of these are really. You know, there's, um, it, that's what's fun about it is because they are quick and easy and you can do three or four or five in a in a very short amount of time you have them on hand i always have a little it's um not really a vase i think it actually it's a candle votive to be honest with you and i have i always have at least a dozen bookmarks in there and that way they're easy they're right here at hand if i need to grab one for a last minute gift or um you know just to hand to somebody it's right there so while that's drawing, what I'm going to do is take my Sharpie marker <clears throat> and for the tall bird, we're just going to draw two long legs. And you can see why they're whimsical birds, you know, with these fun legs. Okay. So we have the legs drawn in, and I'm just waiting for the body part of these to dry a little bit. So while, though, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to take some of my burnt sienna. And with just a very little bit on the brush, um, a very little bit of paint and a lot of water, I just kind of want to dab in a little bit at the bottom. 
And then, uh, so I do just a few dabs of the burnt sienna. And now I'm gonna grab a little bit of my uh, indigo. <clears throat> Excuse me. And do the same thing with that. I kind of wanna create, I guess, somewhat of a ground cover. And I do want to be very blotchy looking. Alright, so we have that. We have that done and we're still waiting for this to dry. So while we're waiting for this to dry, and see this is another fun thing about doing several at one time because you do want one to dry so you can set that aside. And while that one's drying, I'm going to bring back my um, bookworm. So for the bookworm, you can see how nice the two greens did end up blending together and how there is a little bit of a, uh, you know, rough texture to both sides of it. And I can see it's just a little bit still wet up there. So while we're, you know, that can dry a little bit, but what we're going to do is grab, uh, this is one of my brush markers and on one end it is a brush and then on the other end it's a fine point uh, marker. So with the marker end I want to go ahead and just add some feet. You know how these little worms have the feet everywhere, right? And so I'm just kind of going through and adding some fun little feet or tentacle, I don't know what they're called. We're gonna call them feet for lack of a better word. And then I'm gonna go back through and put a little ball at the end of each one. Little centipede movers. Get that one a little bit better. Okay, now how cute is this? So there's the little feet on the um, bookworm. And then for the last little detail for this one, I am going to take my O2 nib micron, this is black. And once again, we're going to just draw in a couple of eyes. And there we go. That's really it for the bookworm. So simple, so cute. And so that is uh, the second one completed. And now I'm going to bring out my whimsical birds once again. And uh, with my O2 nib micron pen, I'm going to go ahead and draw just a very slim beak making it just a little bit wider. And then here, we're gonna go like this. And the same thing with this, we want it to be just a little bit wider where it meets the, the bird. And let's put in a little eye on each one. And then uh, for the tail, we do wanna go like this. Bring that down, and we're going to add just a couple little wings here. And then I do like to add a few little dots, just a little whimsical thing. Here, we'll make the eye just a little bit bigger on these. I think that little dots always do so much for these. And so now that we have the tails drawn in on both of these, I'm gonna go ahead again with my uh, number eight round brush with the fine point. And I'm just gonna grab a wee little bit of the turquoise paint and kind of follow that along on both of these. Okay. 
All right, and that pretty much completes the, uh, the little birds. So now we can set that one aside. And then I do have one more that I would like to do. And this one is going to be flowers once again. And for this one, because the flowers are gonna be a little bit smaller, I'm grabbing a, a number one round brush uh, if you have if you don't have a number one and you have a two or a three that's fine this one is almost a little too small but um, it has I have very good control with that and so for this I'm just doing some flowers down at the bottom and once again I do like to do a five petal flower and I do feel like this brush might be just a little too small I might have to grab a larger one Actually, with these, I want to keep them a little, little more um, detailed, not quite so wispy, only because I'm going to be adding uh, some detail around the flowers themselves. So let me grab, in fact, let me grab just a little bit larger of a brush and see if that might work a little bit better. So this is a number four round, and I think I'll be able to do a little bit better with this one. Yeah, so this is definitely a better feel to it. And a lot of times that's what you have to do with your brushes, you know, just kind of use one and, and see if it's working for you. And if not, then switch it up, go grab something else. And uh, so let me do one here that's gonna be a side view once again. And then I'm going to put a, I think I'll put another side view up this way. And you know, with any of these bookmarks, if you wanted to add words, like a lot of times I'll add uh, good vibes only, or you know, something, some kind of a little saying, and uh, that's always, you know, fun. I'm not the best when it comes to fonts and, and writing, but, um, you know, it is what it is, right? We can't be good at everything. <laughs> That's what I like to say. So now I'm just kind of adding in a few leaves here and there. And you can see this is all looking very, very basic at the moment, but once I start putting in the detail, then it's all gonna come to life and pop and you'll you'll see what I'm, you know, the look that I'm going for. So while that's drying, now I, I've done those down just in the left-hand corner pretty much. And so while that's drying, I do want to take my Sharpie. This is an ultra fine point. And once again, it is a permanent marker so we don't have to worry about, um, worry about it running, you know, or, or blending or whatever with the watercolor. And so now I'm just kind of putting in a little bit of a border that comes around. And I'm just freelancing it, you know, there's no making sure that it's all totally straight. Okay, so um, so now I am gonna let that dry for just a moment because as I move forward with the next step, it's going to be doing some highlighting with the marker, but I want the paint to be nice and dry before I, I go to that step. So we're gonna give this just a minute to dry and then we'll get this completed also. Okay, great. So I think this is dry enough now that we can move on. So I um, switched from my Sharpie fine point to my O2 nib micron. And with this, what I want to do is just kind of go around and I'm just kind of loosely uh, drawing, you know, right around the petals of the flowers. And then actually we can add just a couple little lines towards the center of each one of these petals. And it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect. If you go outside of the painted mark or what, whatever, that's okay. 
This is just another fun look that we're going for. And once again, with this, if you wanted to, um, you know, paint it in different colors, maybe even a couple different colors would be fun. And then on these, which I think I'm going backwards actually, that's okay. And then okay so now that we have the flowers all uh, outlined I'm just pretty much adding the center and I'm doing a lot of dots with the black marker and even on these profile flowers let's bring that center you know, up nice and high. Kind of an over-exaggerated look, almost. Okay, so we're done with that. So now I'm gonna take just my little uh, number one brush and I'm gonna grab just a hint of the yellow. And it doesn't, you know, just a small amount on your brush and just kind of tap it into these centers. Just enough to add a little bit of color. To the dots that we just added and if you wanted to do orange here I'm going to grab just a little bit of orange to because um, orange and blue you know they go great together so if you wanted to do a little bit of the yellow along with the orange it gives it a great look all right so that is now complete that bookmark and we as you can see we have just the flowers down on the one corner and this would be a great one to add a little saying to or not um so that's pretty much it so let me bring all of these back into view so that you can just kind of see i i it looks like i was really into greens today greens and blues <laughs> except for my little flowers. So here are some fun ideas for you. And uh, you know, once you're done with the bookmarks, go ahead and add your name down to the bottom of them. And uh, let me get these into view a little bit better for you. Okay, there we go. So, uh, so anyway, these are just some fun bookmarks and I'll probably be doing other videos with some cute ideas for bookmarks because as I said, they just are a nice little gift to hand to somebody that is an avid reader and they really appreciate them. And uh, so as I mentioned before, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and do that now. It helps me grow and helps my channel grow. And if you've liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button Hit the bell if you want to see more videos as they come out. And feel free to leave a comment or questions down below. I love to see everyone's feedback and answer anything that I can for you. And then um, until next time, ciao for now.